Einstein once said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Except he might have not actually said that, that actually came from a biography book called Einstein, the man and his achievement, and even so, the quote is more so <clears throat> An allied scientific discovery has no merit unless it can be explained to the barmaid from a spectac stack user, even though it could win. The point here is, the quote stands true. If you can't explain it simply, you might not understand well enough yourself. Which begs the question, what is, metaphorically speaking, a bubble? From what I am understanding, it's like a comfort zone, a place where you can be yourself, you speak your own opinion with ease, or something along that line. Right? For the sake of this video, let's say, quote, a bubble is a place where well, one individual or a group are in the zone that are comfortable to be in a end quote. A good example would be one of the videos I did, What is Home, where people claim that their home can be a comfort zone so it can be a bubble, where they don't need to think about politics, workloads, or even life itself. Not for me. See, maybe because I like to overthink about while everything, to the point when I even try to escape life, back in my mind I always scream that I have work to do, whether it's uni, life itself, or making these kind of videos. That and I want to make sure that I'm not too loud so that I don't disturb my neighbors. Gotta respect them and all that. Now, this is a very big disclaimer here. I am not advising people to just stay inside the bubble forever and be right every time. You need to get out of them to become a healthy human, both physically and mentally. Sometimes it is okay to be wrong and to admit your failure is so much stronger than sticking up your gun. But the opposite is also true. I get out of the bubble way more than I rightfully should be and at times I explode in misfit ways. Yeah, apologies if you ever encounter them. But yeah, one could argue that is also one of my main quests. Quest. I have done various things from reading books reading mangas, watching movies, means watching anime, walking for hours, etc, etc. But none of them really helped me to escape reality. And one could argue that because I make music as a person and want to make it for a living, I could do that to escape reality. But the way I write my songs is more about human emotions, about life, about situations we are in. And because of that, I can't really escape life with that now, can I? Well, the closest thing I have done to escape reality from what I have done and researched is playing games. So first, let's talk about Animal Crossing because it's the most obvious one right now because of Yes, uh, hello, uh, Mac hey, yeah, man, you, you, you son of a car. biscuit, you hurt my friend, you hurt me You know how hard it is online studies? You can't you can't even make any game pay to huh? And you come here just staying alone You know what, I'm not done Wait, what? No! Well, that year isn't the only reason why the game succeeded, to be honest. The game actually has a lot of cute styles and animations. You can now redesign the whole island by yourself, and characters has nice and bland personalities, and the game is relaxing and really repetitive, especially with words. I think you can see my reasoning here. If you like the game, and if you think it's one of the best games you have ever played, Kudos to you, do what you like, whatever, I have no ill intent behind it. It's just, I find the game very slow, repetitive, simple and unfortunately boring. It became to the point that 
it reminded me about this life and I have work to do and all that jazz. So that's out of the list. Next. Now some of you guys know that I love fighting games. No. But whoever says that fighting games is relaxing are liars. It's like saying their favorite taste is spiciness. They are masochists? It's not a taste, it's a illusion. Long stretch of a joke there, buddy. Anyways, next in the list is... Ah! Uh, what about Xenoblade Chronicles New Game Plus? You said you like to play it in your own time, right? See, that is an exception because while the game is relaxing because I can do whatever whenever I want now, I like to play the game for like 5-10 minutes, short period of time when I'm say waiting for someone to come here, just a quick play, etc etc because for me it's relaxing when I play it a short amount of time and not long time, if that makes sense. It's weird, I know, even for me it doesn't make sense. But for me, playing New Game Plus in Xenoblade Chronicles is more relaxing than short than long period of time. But what I can play for hours though is next in the list, Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon is a roguelike game where you need to fight monsters, bosses and more to reach the end and get the gun that can kill the past. And it's Fun. You can shoot with laser beams, fireballs, a bullet that suit guns that suit bullets, and so many hidden secrets and This game can be frustrating when you die, which is fair, that's the part of the game. You die over and over until you get better and better on each and every situation. But if we have to talk about comfort zone, this game isn't comforting. It's more risk and reward type and that can be frustrating if you don't get the right weapons or items. So that's a no-go. It's fun and makes me forget about life at times. But the frustrating part is where I have to call it quits. Alright, so that is also a no-go. Next in the list is... Oh! Rhythm Games! It should be the best of both worlds, right? Music and games, isn't that great? Have you even played rhythm games? You have to be in perfect break every single time and don't even get me started with off-sync issues at times better be because of the PC, the game itself has a bad off-sync calibration, etc, etc. Add that to the game called, roguelike game called Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which is an amazing game, but my god, it can be frustrating to learn over time and time and time. And my god, I love the as well but oh, it's so annoying PSP area is so so frustrating it took me two years two freaking years to beat the story mode my god I love this game and but I you sometimes don't even well Maxim is having some sort of video game crisis let's talk about the next game well it's more so a genre MMORPGs and that's where things goes well in gray area besides the fact that I am still finding the MMORPG game for me, which by the way, you should watch the video as to why, link in the iCard and in description. People I play with also talks about their life problems when playing it, which is apparently common as I have played with many groups with different individuals. Let me know in the comments if it's same for you guys as well. But honestly, that is okay. Talking with your problems is healthy and honestly I don't mind lending my ears at times. But again, we aren't escaping reality with it, which in this case, I need to keep on finding. But to be real, I am glad that this bubble also exists because talking about your problems is 100% okay to do so and if it makes people feel lighter then I am happy to help as much as I humanly and mentally can. 
but too much is too much and even i have to go back off and take care of myself you need to take care of yourself before others after all there is one more game i wanted to talk about and that's mahjong soul specifically when i play with my friends it's fun and it makes me escape reality and everything is perfect the only problem is is that because we have now five people and the game is usually for four people three if you're playing special but let's say four this time we have to loosely take one person out and that one person is usually me because i join in a bit late a second late but a second late it's unfortunate no one is to blame it's just life well i guess it's going to be a long long time before i can find my golden cup what is that music Tetris is a game I have played for so many years. I wouldn't say that I am a master at this game, far from it. But I feel safe to say that I'm at least better than average Tetris players. I even made a script about Tetris, but scrapped that because I thought it wasn't good enough to make a video about it, so I needed to scrap. <coughs> but whenever I play Tetris, I just focus on the game. and forget about everything uh with signs with Steph can a tone about it when i was recording the collab videos with her sorry about that uh do check the video i did with Steph as a tetris collab and in her channel the physics in mario in the i card and in the description below please <laughs> with that said tetris is probably one of the best games for me when i'm doing zone if not the best game when i want to just focus yeah i sometimes remember life has said but for like a second and two and when i start playing tetris when i focus on tetris again i just forget about it everything and just concentrate on solving puzzles solving tetris winning in tetris so as a solo game It is good. Unfortunately, it's not hundred percent either. Ninety-nine, but not hundred percent. The only exception is when I'm having a bad day. I can't really play Tetris because, well, Tetris needs a lot of mental power. Unfortunately, so I'm still trying to find that hundred percent. Well. The game is relaxing. It's fun. It's not plain or boring. There's fun things to do again and bonus points if it has multiplayer game and people don't talk about life issues here. Maybe I'm being a picky player and maybe because not a lot of games or none games will ever satisfy me 100%. But when you're trying to find the golden bubble The silver bubbles ain't good enough. But it is also nice to have them. Hello connectors. This is the Weirdo Maximia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. I honestly have nothing else to say other than I edited this video while streaming it on twitch.tv/criticalmaxim. So, yeah, I might do it again because some people actually really had it fun watching me edit this, which is pretty weird to say the least, but eh. if they like it, they like it. And if you like it, check out every well schedule I do. This was an exception of course, but yeah, there well. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. Other than if you have any topics you want me to talk about, let me know. Man, if you have any games, whatever, you know what the, all the jazz. 
But once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Like the video, dislike it, let me know why and subscribe. But of course, stay connected as well.